Hi, everybody. And with that, we've got more show. Next comic coming to stage, a good friend of mine. You might recognize him. His appearance is on Fox. He's been on Laughs. He's been on True TV's World's Dumbest. Big round of applause for Chris Straight, everybody. This show just got taller and wider. How's everybody doing? Yeah, like a few comics, I'm blending into the drapes, so enjoy that. It's a floating head way up towards the top. My daughter said, Daddy, why is Mommy pregnant? I said, because you took a nap. She was four. I couldn't give her the whole story. A long time ago now, my daughter, my little girl's actually uh, 11 now. Yeah, she's gonna be 11 two days after I turn 42. Take a wild guess who gets the party. <laughs> Got clowns and balloons at my birthday party for a while now. <laughs> no, she wants to get a phone. I don't know, the whole world's gonna be through the phone pretty soon, if it isn't already. I saw billboards, I've seen a few of them now, advertising how you can text message 911 emergency. Yeah, I know, it sounds like a good idea, but I'm trying to envision the emergency that's important enough to contact 911, but not enough to stop what you're doing and call. <laughs> and does text etiquette still apply when you're texting 911? My GF shot my BFF, frown. <laughs> and they write back, LOL, JK, OMW. You know, that's the second language, we all speak it, all right. Now, my daughter's a redhead, because uh, my ex-wife is Irish. Um, and if you're ever gonna get with an Irish girl, uh, let me give you some advice. Don't. <laughs> Try to imagine all the crazy of a Latina with none of the food. <laughs> don't look offended, you know it's true. <laughs> I don't mind getting stabbed, but there better be sauce on the knife. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Even the mafia feeds you before they whack you. That's all. Well, that works. We had two kids and then we stopped because now we have to care. That's a new thing, right? Everything, it wasn't that long ago they had eight, nine kids because they honestly thought half of you were going to die. I don't know if anyone's got parents from the old country, but that was the way. <laughs> That's why the first three or four were always named after family. The last two or three, all right, who drove us to the hospital? <laughs> What's your name? Tom? That's good. Tom will do that. Yeah. Who's old enough to remember going outside and playing with nobody watching you? Remember that? Really? Yeah. Newsflash, that's gone. <laughs> I'm responsible for every waking second of my children's entertainment. It's exhausting. All right, that's why I saw you kids today are soft. You got two kids and you're tired. We had eight kids and we were fine. Yeah, because back then parenting was this. Don't. And we're done here. That's it. <laughs> And then they'd send you outside. I don't think my parents ever saw me in the daylight. Anyone have those parents? You weren't allowed to come back in until it got dark. You had to stay. Especially if you're from Southern California, like we pay a lot to live here for the weather. Go enjoy it. Be out there. If I don't see street lights, I better not see you. That was the attitude. Where, where are my natives? SoCal natives, where are you? Let me hear you clap. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. A lot of misconceptions about us, but have you heard about this winter bullshit? <laughs> there are Americans living in snow on purpose. <laughs> you just want to grab them and go, you know your citizenship extends all the way down here. You're in Minnesota on purpose? Just cross the border and get health care. Why were you... Why are you staying here? I'm sure you love your state, but the Vikings are going to blow it. We all know. They always kind of do. They, they get us wrong, too. They're like, you Californians can't handle snow. I'm like, yeah, we can. There it is. Right? It's on the mountain. Whenever I need it, I can go get it. It's just not in my yard. I think we have a healthier attitude towards snow in Southern California. It's not like being in the Deep South where you have no access to it at all. We like it. We just have a different attitude. Like in the Midwest and back East, they're married to snow. That's how I'd say it. They're, they're married to snow. To us, snow is just a mistress. <laughs> we have the same attitude towards the snow we would have towards that woman. I'll play with you on the weekend, but you don't get to know where I live. <laughs> A 
Let that snow show up in your yard. You'd say the same thing if that woman showed up in your yard. Like, Bitch, my kids play here. You better... <laughs> better take that crazy back up on the mountain. Uh, I'm not saving for college either because the world has changed too much. I got a master's degree. Look what I do. That's not a way to secure a child's future. It's a way to get them in debt. You want to secure your kid's future, you got to do what I did. Be a fortune teller. See where the world is headed. Right? And I know where it's headed. I'm not telling my daughter to stay in school. I'm telling her Chinese guys are hot. <laughs> I'm Chris Strait. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the show.